Hey guys, I'm Eddie from Ulu Yoga. This is the Air Swing. It is a revolutionary new style of flying for dynamic mobility sports and restorative healing. This is the perfect training for any kind of sport where you're bending, turning, and twisting the body around, like surfing, skiing, tennis, golf, baseball, swimming, martial arts, yoga, dance, uh, and we can set this up for uh, physical therapy, rehabilitation, uh, body work, uh, traction, massage, inversions. The possibilities are limitless. Now, uh, none of these poses or exercises are difficult or complicated. Uh, the longer you do them, you know, the more you're going to feel it in the underdeveloped uh, parts of the body. Because with the air swing, the whole time we're pulling inward. Um, and uh, this is a, using less the big muscles and more the connective tissues, uh, ligaments, tendons, the muscle skeletal system, which holds your body together. Uh, when you're at the gym working out, often you're squatting or curling or pulling up. Uh, less so are you pulling inwards. Uh, and with the air swing, we're using the, the whole body the whole time all together. Uh, to move around, exploring this free range of motion, like you're swimming, but better. And so uh, after a few weeks, you will uh, develop this whole new body um, that will uh, greatly enhance any kind of uh, activity or uh, sports. So if you're a professional athlete, this will take you to a whole new level, I promise you. If you're just a regular person, well, this is just a fun way to get you know in shape and reach an optimal performance, uh, if you are uh, you know sick or injured, recovering from surgery, uh, we can modify the swing to accommodate you so that you can stay active and get back to um, uh, your healthy self. So uh, yeah, we've got four swings here. You see, supporting the arms and legs, and uh, this evenly distributes the body weight. Um, allowing you to fly around uh, pretty easily. Now, I've been doing air swing for several months now, and so you know, I'm uh, quite adept with it. Uh, beginners will come in here, and, they'll, and if they're super weak, they'll immediately uh, feel the, the burning uh, in their body. And that's great, because <laughs> then you realize uh, the uh, imbalances uh, in your body, and uh, we can start to correct that. Uh, and, uh, and bring you up to speed, make you a uh, whole. All right. So I will show you how to set this up and we'll run through some exercises. All right, so we've got a long swing and a short swing. They are made with a waterproof Gore-Tex fabric. So you can just wash this off after your practice. Inside here is a yoga mat cushion that holds the shape. And uh, we can fold it or roll it up, depending on which pose or exercise we're doing, um, to create more support and uh, a nice soft cushion. Um, they've got uh, daisy chain straps here. Uh, these are looped over the rafters above, but you can uh, hang your air swing in like a narrow doorway with a pull-up bar, or take it to the gym, put it on a squat rack. Um, this is two and a half meters high. Um, of course, a doorway would be like six feet high, a squat rack is seven. You can go as high as three to four meters, but the uh, higher the rigging point and the longer the straps are, the more difficult it is to control. Uh, I've got it spaced here, like one hand outside the shoulders on each side. The closer together it is, the more difficult it is to control. The wider it is, the more difficult it is to pull inwards. Okay? Now, this is set up for a dynamic air swing. We take uh, the long swing and clip it in so that it falls here, like one hand above the ankle or mid shin. And then the shorter swing is gonna clip in just one loop above, lock it in place and then check that the left and right side are even. So I'm gonna hook my thumbs, pull it down and towards the center. And just be mindful if I'm off-centered, it's going to be higher or lower on one side. 
Let's get it good enough. And we're ready to go. So dynamic air swing. I'm going to stand in front and step to the right. Open the lower right swing behind me. Look back and step through and down. Step to the left and repeat. Bring your arms through the center, not wrapping your arms around the sides. Bring your arms into the upper set of swings. Bring the elbows down into the fabric and the hands are hanging just outside the front here. Bring the right knee down, centered just behind the front edge so that it's fully supported. Um, if it's too far forward, you're gonna feel it slipping out. If it's too far back, and this is unbalanced, then you can see the shin is not uh, supported. So get it close to the front edge as you can. Now, for this left foot here, I'm gonna lift the heel, come onto the toes, center the knee, bring it just behind the front edge, and then we're in, okay? Um, I'm pulling the arms and legs inward and uh, aligning the elbows under the shoulders and then the hips here are above the knees. And so we're stacked like this. And once you open the arms and legs and extend the arms and legs, it's much more difficult. Uh, we can cross the ankles, interlace the hands, pull the arms in and lean the shoulders into the fabric, sit back halfway. And now this is easier than sitting in a chair, okay? can uh, work on the phone or the computer here, and we can uh, do all of the exercises uh, in, in a uh, modified, uh, simple form. All right, and then we come in and out just by standing up. Um, all right, I'm going to uh, run through the series of exercises. Now the possibilities are limitless and this is completely intuitive. You can just get into the swing and wiggle around and figure out whatever works best for you. Uh, I've come up with a set series that I uh, found works really well for me and everyone that I train. Now if you feel any sharp pain or um, discomfort, uh, modify the pose accordingly, or just take a breath, or just skip uh, and uh, uh, continue as you can. All right? So we're going to come back into the swings now. What I like to do when I'm uh, training here is I set my stopwatch to like 50 second intervals. I like to go um, you know, uh, moderate, intense. Uh, and then uh, take a rest in between it and get back in. So if you're just starting out, it's likely um, that you're going to feel it, you know, into the inner groins and uh, between the arms and chest here. And so do shorter intervals um, and then with time you build it up. Okay. So uh, let me just uh, run through the series here. Starting in this uh, Plank pose. This is like a modified low forearm plank or a tabletop hands and knees um, mesh. All right, I'm going to inhale, exhale, open and close the arms and legs. Now, we don't need to go all of the way down to the max. You know, we can just go a quarter ways or three quarter ways as I like to do. Uh, always moving with the breath. Inhale. Exhale. So you can go nice and slow, or you can go fast, as I like to do. And then normally I would carry on for, as I said, 50 seconds. I stand up, take a few breaths. And then get back in, continue. Okay, next one. I'm going to alternate the arms and legs left and right, back and forth. All right, as you see here, I'm using the whole body uh, the whole time. 
the uh, arms, the legs, the glutes, the core, the back. Uh, if I were at the gym, I'd have to do, you know, uh, maybe five different exercises to work uh, everything that we did in, in just two minutes. Uh, so I, I know that I can get a two-hour workout in like a 20 minutes. Maybe that's an exaggeration, but you see what I mean. All right. Next exercise. Uh, swimming. I'm going to inhale, circle around, open and close the arms and legs. Uh, and so I'm going to go a bit slower now because we're working with the joint rotation. Now, if you've got something like a rotator uh, cuff injury or surgery, um, this might be very good for you, but just take it easy. Uh, again, if you feel a sharp pain, uh, maybe you want to skip this or do a, an easier variation. I love it. It feels so wonderful for the spine. As I circle around, I can feel it really like crunching into the spine. And this is, you know, uh, breaking up some of the uh, stagnant uh, fascia muscle tissue. And as I do, that's uh, loosening it up, you know, allowing for more uh, space and mobility in the spine. All right. Back in. Next pose. I am going to interlace the fingers and cross the knees over as far as they can go back and forth, creating some nice hip mobility. Stand up, take a deep breath. So, I love the air swing. Um, this has given me a whole new body uh, and mine uh, because uh, I'm just free to move around uh, more so than I ever have in my life, uh, no matter how much yoga or uh, a cycling or running uh, I, I did. Um, I, I would never enjoy going dancing, but now I go, and I'm a great dancer now. I am moving around like you know, <laughs> a crazy person um, because I'm liberate, liberated. Uh, I can do whatever I want with my body. Now I'm gonna cross the ankles. Uh, and uh, just bending the upper torso side to side. So as I'm pulling to the uh, left, my legs are also pulling upwards towards the arms. So wonderful for working the uh, external obliques on the outer core. Uh, if I'm doing a yoga, we could uh, achieve a similar uh, by doing a like standing half moon pose. Uh, you know, I, I feel more of a stretch in the hip, uh, less engagement and activation of the core and obliques as I do that. I think the air swing is better. It's a lot safer and fun way um, to isolate you know, particular muscle groups um, and get an amazing uh, workout. All right, let's get back in. Next one, I'm gonna cross the ankles, uh, lock the thumbs, Extend the arms, drop the chest between the shoulders. Ah, and that's a wonderful stretch. And I'm going to push up and down. Inhale down, exhale up. 
then I can work in a bit of a cat and cow stretching, uh, curling the spine up and down, curling the tailbone in and out, sucking the belly. Inhale, exhale, lifting the chin, dropping the chin. Bringing the arms in and out, pushing the hips back and forth. Oh, so wonderful. You know, if I'm doing uh, normal yoga these days, and I'm on the floor doing my cat and cow pose, I'm just thinking to myself, I'm missing out so much. And if I were doing this in the swing, there's just like five new levels of dimension that I can add to this, you know? <laughs> so. Next one, I am going to uh, work the upper and lower body in opposite directions, side to side, like I'm skiing. Love that exercise. It's fun because it feels like you're cycling in the air. Um, this is something that you can uh, do for a sustained uh, a length of time. Uh, wonderful uh, mobility in the hips and then yeah, and, and the core. You know, as I'm uh, pulling side to side and uh, is really working nicely uh, the low spine. So interesting thing is that I can feel like a, a side movement in the lower lumbar spine, which is, you know, despite all of the yoga uh, I ever did, you know, I can get flexibility in, in the spine bending backwards uh, and then the upper spine bending side to side. But the lower spine having mobility to move side to side, and that's really uh, uh, unheard of. All right. Now, if you are doing the air swing in a doorway, you know, in a narrow space, um, you can do everything that we've done so far. Um, but for the next couple exercises, you may have limitations. So just be mindful of your surroundings. Now, um, let's uh, cross the ankles, interlace the hands. I am going to Bend the upper body side to side, um, shifting the weight from left to right, and this time creating a bit of momentum to swing around halfway. And then I can uncross the arms and legs. And this gives me a bit more leverage to apply greater pressure swinging around. Now my lower torso is not doing anything, it's just following along. All I'm doing really is shifting the weight from left to right arm and allowing the momentum to carry me around. Now, it's important to smile because this opens the nasal passage, allowing you to breathe and release the tension. And it connects the receptors in the brain associated with happiness. So you just smile and you feel great and you can enjoy a more sustained practice. And then using counter pressure to stop. Take a breath here. Okay. We're going to combine all the exercises we've done so far now. Uh, and that's uh, creating the momentum, swinging side to side, bending the upper torso left and right and then crossing the knees over and reversing bend to the side cross the knees bend to the side cross the knees
Now, we don't want to swing around too far out of control. And so practice a bit of restraint. We want to master uh, these exercises, you know, one by one, um, and then integrate them all into a flow with control. And then uh, over time, you will gain, you know, uh, the ability to uh, move around however you want to work on a particular uh, style of sport and just to practice safely. Now, that said, I'm going to combine all these exercises again, freestyle. Um, now, if I'm working on the computer uh, all day long and I need to take a break, I'll just jump into the swing and fool around. You know, I, I don't have to think about anything. And then uh, I am working the whole body, getting the benefits of all the exercises that we did. And because I am just having fun, uh, you know, I don't think about how long I'm on here. I just go and I go and I go. You know, I can be on here for five or ten minutes um, without even realizing it and getting, you know, a hell of a workout. And I find, actually, the more fun uh, that I have, the more I enjoy it, this practice, the better workout I get. You know, as opposed to, you know, this rigid sequence that I just uh, took you through, which is good, you know, and it's nice to to train and, uh, you know, master these movements one by one. But, I mean, you see, I'm smiling the whole time. You know, I was a very depressed person growing up. And then, uh, lately, you know, I just, my life gets better and better, you know, as I uh, get into this air swing, you know, I go out, you know, dancing. And I just feel, you know, more confident uh, in my body in general. Okay, so, next, we're going to bring the swings a bit higher for some, uh, what I call a tantric air swing. So, we unlock the carabiners, and I'm coming up here, one, two, three, Four loops. That's what works for me. And if you're a taller person, maybe you go one higher. If you're a short person, maybe you're a bit lower. But I find this works pretty much for everyone. We'll lock them up. Okay, now the lower set of swings, I'm going to fold over one, two, three times. Right, I stand behind. I'm going to step over the lower set of swings. I bring them up into the groin and sit down, bring my arms through the upper set with the elbows resting into the fabric and hands outside. Uh, same as the last exercise. So, um, as you see here, my hips are slightly above the knees and uh, my legs are spread and I'm uh, situated here just um, below the rigging point. I'm going to do some uh, small step work here uh, to get orientated, walking side to side, and then back and forth. Circle around. And then turn around.
and then I turn to the side. Just bring the feet up and down. Come all the way to the back. Then I'm going to step back into the side and spin around, pivot on the toes. Then I'll spread the legs a bit wider, leaning forward, bending side to side. We can lift the leg as we come over. And then circle and squirm around with the body. Coming back to the center here, I'm going to twist around side to side. Inhale, exhale. This is my favorite exercise. Now, we can say this is like swinging a baseball bat, right? This is also similar to like a kundalini style exercise where we're breathing quickly and deeply and twisting around. Uh, and this is partly why I'm calling this a tantric air swing. Now, what else? Uh, I can lift the legs and then slide them upwards so that we're hovering off the floor. I can bend the upper and lower body towards each other. And then I can bend them away from each other to create momentum to swing around. Okay, and then we can uh, mix this all up and just to dance around freestyle. Uh, and this is the real key to the uh, tantric exploration uh, and just liberating yourself and uh, releasing the mind from this, uh, you know, dogmatic uh, narrative delusion, which we call the, uh, you know, ego and uh, conception of reality and breaking free of this and, you know, as I dance around here, I'm no longer Eddie from America. I'm just this, you know, energetic, uh, free spirit. Now, if you see me at a dance, I am moving around like crazy, uh, and I am just air swinging without the air swing. I love it. Uh, I'll, I'll be waiting in line at the restaurant or whatever, and I'll be moving around a bit as well. Hopefully there's music playing so I don't look completely insane. Uh, yeah, that's the tantric air swing. Now, I will show you uh, a bit more advanced dynamic air swing. I will bring the longer set of swings as low as I can that they're not touching the floor. So this is a bit lower than they were for the first set. Open them up. Now, when I set up my daisy chain straps here, I did so that the uh, first short loop was the lowest it needed to be uh, for this setting. So it's the lowest setting it can be without touching the floor, because I don't need the straps to be any longer than that. Okay, so the first uh, series that we did, I had my uh, uh, shins down into the swing, the knee into the swing. If I did that now, uh, my foot would be too close to the floor. Now, 
I'm going to do more or less the same set of exercises, but I will bring my foot into the swing. My knee is uh, resting in the center of the fabric, uh, and then my foot is going to twist and slide back a bit. And then my arms again come through the center and into the upper set with the elbow resting in the fabric. The hand is hanging freely here. I bring the other arm in and then I'm going to lean my weight down, pulling the arms and leg inward. And that foot comes off the floor. Okay. Now, it's not very difficult, but watch me. I'm going to grab this uh, lower left swing behind the arm here and hold it open. Again, I'm going to lean my weight uh, into the swings. My foot comes up and into the swing. And then I, I center the knee, leaning the knee forward, and then my heel kind of slips and twists back a bit. Okay, so as you see here, my knees are pressed into the fabric. Now, this is not that much more difficult than the first series. Uh, what people struggle with is that the knees are popping out. Um, you can put the knees through the center here and then pull the fabric up into the groin and bend the legs as you lean forward. But, of course, with the knees in the fabric, they're, you know, uh, better supported. So, um, we can do the same exercises, open and close, alternating back and forth like we're running or the elliptical machine circling around like we're swimming, uh, crossing the legs over like this. Uh, I just have a, a much wider uh, range of, of motion and I can create, you know, even more flexibility in the spine, especially like the lower lumbar spine. Okay, uh, I can uh, cross the thumbs, extend the arms, uh, bring them in and out, curling the spine up and down, and then uh, bending the upper body side to side, and then uh, creating momentum to swing around halfway, and then Crossing the legs over as I swing around and bend to the side. Cross and swing the legs. Yeah, and then, uh, oh, uh, pushing the upper and lower body uh, against each other in opposite direction, uh, like we're skiing. And then mixing it all up and swinging around. This is awesome, like a surfing. So sometimes I'm moving the upper and lower body in the opposite direction as I cross the legs or in the same direction. It's like surfing here. I can bend the knees a bit more and dart around. And so as you see here, yeah, this is a bit more advanced. Okay, super fun. <sighs> All right, uh, next I will set this up for a restorative air swing. Uh, the longer swings will stay where they are. I'm going to take off the shorter set of swings. Remove the carabiner from one swing and hook it on to the longer set of swings. Okay, these are for your feet and this is the seat. Take off the other swing, separate it, and bring the other carabiner on. And I will set this up three levels higher. One, two, three. Uh, okay, we'll lock it in.
All right, uh, this upper middle swing, I'm going to fold over one, two, three times. This will go uh, behind my back, just under the scapula. Okay, so I'm going to grab the swing behind me. The arms come inside. You sit down, scoot to the back edge. And bring your feet in, one at a time. The knee will rest into the fabric here. Okay. Not this, not this, like that. Okay, and bring the arms up, wrap them around the back swing, place it, you know, under the armpits, under the scapula, and just make sure that uh, you're fully supported in your seat here. And then bring the hands behind the head, interlace the fingers, uh, and then just arch back. Now, if the swing is set too low, you can dip back uh, too intensely. So bring it up. And then you have more control of how deeply you want to take this. And then you bend side to side. Inhale, center, exhale, bend. And I'm pulling the upper and lower body towards each other here, creating some hip mobility and a nice side stretch, as well as the upper back bend. Now you can straighten the legs and do this. You'll feel it's a different stretch. Um, I find it a, a bit more difficult than uncomfortable, honestly. Now, um, here I'm bending the upper and lower body towards each other, but then I can bend them away from each other. And then like this, it creates a bit of momentum to swing around. Uh, as I do that, it's enhancing the stretch as it swings me around. But we want to try to stay centered under the rigging point uh, and then just turning and, and twisting around, not swinging back and forth and twisting because then you're all over the place, which can create a bit of motion sickness. So how do we do that? Um, I will only use my legs to turn around, being mindful of trying to stay balanced below the rigging point. This is nice because I can really focus on bending my legs to the side, creating a mobility and flexibility in the hips here. Wonderful for the lower spine. Now I'll just let the legs rest and then only using the upper body. Oh, I can get such a nice deep upper back stretch here. So as you see here, it's creating momentum and I'm swinging around, but the legs are not doing anything. Okay, now I will work the legs into the flow, I'm trying to balance between the arms and the legs to swing around. Ah. So wonderful, so incredible. Okay, next, I'm going to scoot to the back edge. Bring the arms up, grab the swing above you, and then bring this upper middle swing in front. Bring the hands together into the swing. Make sure the knees are into the fabric. And extend the arms. And then drop the chest down. Inhale, extend the arms. Exhale, dropping down. Now I can bend the arms halfway, relax the head and neck, 
Inhale, straighten the arms, pushing down, arching the spine, lifting the chin. Exhale, dropping down. So we are strengthening the back and shoulders and getting an incredible stretch in the spine and uh, decompressing the cervical vertebrae in the neck. Ah, oh, so wonderful. Now let's bring this uh, upper middle swing back behind again. I can bring the hands down, wrap them behind the legs, grab the fingers, and then just relax, release the head and neck down. And this again is creating a decompression in the cervical vertebrae, the neck, because the head is so heavy and all day long it's weighing down on the neck. And so here I'm just going to bring the head and neck up and down. Inhale, exhale. Bend it side to side. Circle around. Uh, have you seen they sell these ridiculous things that you can hook the strap up to your doorway to pull your head out? It is so ridiculous. <laughs> it looks so dodgy. Um, so here we can do it um, with the straighter spine and uh, allowing gravity to uh, pull the head so that it's not uh, being uh, pulled down more than it uh, naturally falls. Okay, so there's a lot less risk of hurting yourself and you're getting you know, the same benefits, I would argue that it is a whole lot better than those ridiculous things. Now, uh, let's straighten the legs. I'm going to uh, bend forward. Just be mindful. If you are too close to the front edge, you can slip off, right? I'm going to grab the swing in the back here. Uh, I'm going to flex my feet. And then I straighten the spine, kind of arching up. Inhaling, lengthening, pulling the shoulders back, and then as I exhaling, sucking in the belly and coming down. And then you can release the feet and allow the back to curve and drop the head and neck. Inhale, straighten, lengthen the spine, flexing the feet. Exhale, coming down and releasing. Okay. Now, if you're working with a trainer, we go back to that first position with the straight legs, and the trainer can grab your feet and pull you out to create some incredible traction. And then the trainer can come around and then grab your foot. Uh, forearms here and pull your head up to create traction on the neck and a trainer can come on to the side and help bend you side to side and there's so many more uh, techniques uh, when i'm folded over like this the trainer can come and uh, massage the shoulders or they can come uh, from behind here and massage the spine, especially like the lower our lumbar and uh, glutes. So many possibilities for uh, body work and uh, physical therapy, rehabilitation. Uh, again, uh, you can just sit in the swing and fool around and figure out whatever works best for you. It's interesting because um, this is still a uh, new development and uh, I find every time I do this, uh, somebody has some unique uh, thing that their body guides them to do. I'm always learning. It's so wonderful. Okay, there is uh, one more thing I will show you. I uh, have to take all the swings off. Going to leave one carabiner on.
Uh, this one uh, will have two carabiners. Okay, now I'm going to take the long swings, right? And then I will hook one end of each swing. And then I'm going to clip it on above my head. And then we straighten it out. Do the same on the other side. Then I take the shorter swings, do the same thing. And then I want this to clip in uh, so that it falls about the same level as the longer set. Okay, and then when I open it up, the feet are going to come here into this first longer swing. I'm going to sit here into the first shorter swing. The second short swing uh, is going to roll up one, two, three, and come under the armpits. And then the last long swing uh, is for my head. I like to fold that one in half. Okay, so we're gonna lock in. Okay, so let's take the first long swing. We're gonna come behind that, sit down on the shorter swing behind me. So when I was setting these swings up, uh, I don't want it any higher than this because it'll be difficult to sit down. All right, then I bring my arms back and I place the second shorter swing here just uh, under the scapula. And then I'll bring my legs, my feet into this first long swing. Check that uh, your butt's you know, fully supported here. And then we'll bring this last long swing here under the head. Now we can just fold the hands onto the uh, stomach here and rest. And then bend the upper and lower body side to side. or in the opposite way. That creates momentum to swing around. Uh, what's nice to do here is to, I'm gonna bring the heels to the back edge of the swing here and then bend the knees, and then bend the knees to the side and bending back towards the feet. Now watch my hands. What I like to do is bring the hands back around and wrapping uh, around the swings, interlace the fingers and place them under the head. Bending side to side. Bending the knees. Bending back, creating a bit of momentum. Ah, oh, the swing around is so incredible. So, as you see, uh, setting this all up is a bit complicated, and then getting in and getting comfortable complicated.
Once you're in, however, it's so incredible. Oh, it's so wonderful. Now, what else can we do here? I can sit up. And just using two swings here, I'll just come into a nice forward bend. So I grab the swing in front of me and pull down. Inhale, lengthen the spine, lifting the chest, pulling the shoulders back and down. Exhale, sucking in the belly, dropping the chest. And then allowing the back and head to drop down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Okay. So these are just a few things that you can do. Of course, the, the possibilities are limitless. Uh, and there's many different configurations uh, that I've experimented with. Uh, but then, you know, over time, you know, over the course of the you know, six months, um, well, everything I've shown you here, you know, I, I've rehearsed and I've uh, set in this specific order that I've shown you uh, and has proven to be like uh, the most uh, effective and logical uh, sequence for me and for most people who I've shared it with. Uh, and I'm looking forward uh, to playing around with you and getting your feedback and seeing, you know, what uh, contributions uh, you can uh, contribute <laughs> to the group uh, to enhance this practice for everyone. So I'm Eddie from Ulu Yoga. This is the Air Swing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Namaste.